on other fields, on other days. That's the primary charge for the cadets of Army. But on this field, the seeds planted by the likes of Davis, Blanchard, and Dawkins certainly have produced victory. Welcome to Mikey Stadium at West Point, home of the Black Knights of the Hudson. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Tulane Green Wave taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Tulane will kick it off to get this game underway. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So the Army Black Knights offense will get the first swing of the game. And here comes this quarterback. When he takes the field, he brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but the, he makes the whole team better. But the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need him. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Running back goes in motion. Using his legs, it's Reed. Tackle is made after the first down. Really good looking run. And when you play Army, you know these guys offensively, they are always so dialed into their rushing attack. Everybody understands their assignment and responsibility. It doesn't matter if they're running the option. It doesn't matter if they're doing it out of the spread. They know who they need to block. And as a defense, you better limit your mental errors or you're going to have a hard time slowing this rushing attack down. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs. And he gets it out to the 41. Yeah, and Apple the QB calls his own number and all these options, obviously multiple plays. He decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Dumps it to the back. The short hands, it's Reed. Nice job to pick up the first down and they'll spot it at the 42. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you gotta make it easy. So you wanna put it right on their body, make the catch simple and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. The Black Knights are moving quickly down the field. They'll throw it on first down. He makes the connection. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. A defense, man, it helps you a lot. When you can be a linebacker or a corner or some safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Looking to buy time. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. And nobody responsible for picking up the free safety because, David, frankly, I don't believe they thought he was coming. No, and whose responsibility is that? The quarterback. If I see the free safety blitzing, I'm throwing the ball deep to somebody to make a play because he can't cover deep anymore, so put that in your back pocket. They want to bring that safety blitz. I'm going to make them pay, and I'm going to throw the ball deep. The seventh play of this opening drive will be a third and long. Dropping back, it's Daly. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground, but you can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile, that's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. And the Black Knights will line up to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. 
a fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. So the Tulane Green Wave offense will have its first chance to go on the attack. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These Makes a catch on the left. Afterburner's coming. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Green Wave. And once he got loose, it was all over. It was a really nice job on the route concept because they got the safety occupied, which opened up the deep middle of the field for the receiver on the post. He uses his speed. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it out in front of him. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end. On to attempt the try. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, be able to make in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. He makes a catch. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. Third down, the focus of the defense has to shift. It has to change. We have to understand now exactly where the sticks are. We can't give up those plays for them to get beyond the sticks and get those first downs. The gift to the back. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also OK with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll ride his man on the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Let's be honest, Reese. Like, the only time the fullback gets the football is usually in short yarded situations. And the defense was locked in. You got to try to get penetration with that defensive line. They did a good job of it. Nowhere to go with the football for the big fella. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Back to throw, it's Daly. Looking to the big tight end. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. The Black Knights will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. 
Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He's looking to throw it quickly to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Second down coming up. They'll run play action. Fires to the big fella. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Well, they're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first end. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. They were really hopeful he could make a guy or two miss and pick up the first down, but he comes up a little short. Yeah, and it's great defense. It's defense understanding where the sticks are, not missing tackles, getting the guy on the ground quickly. Really nice job by the defense understanding the situation. The completion well past the sticks. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He needs to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. And now on second down for this offense. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Guys, the quarter comes to a close, and Tulane has the lead here. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. Balls at the 24, a lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. With the catch, it's Hughes. No, oh, what a move! Touchdown, Tulane! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but... Boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They took it 71 yards down the field, and they finished things up with a dart from 24 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Power football with the run. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. The Black Knights can do it on the ground with a Mr. Inside or Mr. Outside. They just love to run it. They'll do it however way you want it. Whether it's inside and they're going to give the first one or they're going to run the option off it, you're going to get a steady dose of running the football. They will check to see how physical you want to be in a football game. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Fullbacks, a.k.a. blocking backs, a.k.a. don't touch the football very often and usually don't go far down the field. But a nice, nice little chunk run here for the, for the fullback. Give him the ball, reward the big fella. Now on second down and short. They'll run the option. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. I tell you what, fullbacks are kind of dying breeds. You just don't use them very much. So when you bring them in the game, a lot of times you bring them in the game to be physical and stout blockers. And then occasionally, you give them the ball in those short yardage situations. You say, go get me a first down, big fella. He'll try the left side. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. To the air, it's Daly. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Army! Reeled it in and just made the house call. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Ready to try the point after. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 51 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. Grabbed in the middle, it's Fleming. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. 
And this is what's so great about play action. The run fake sucks those linebackers up, and it just creates so much more space for these receivers to operate. Beautiful execution by the offense. You open a drive like that, and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. He's going to pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you could tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Now second and 10. Trying play action. He'll get rid of it. Holds it in. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Here comes Tulane after picking up the first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. He'll pull it on the read. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Scrambling away. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. It's first and 10 from the 13. They'll throw it from the red zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Green Wave! Really nice job by awareness, too, from that guy. He's working the back line of the end zone. It's so easy to step out of bounds there, but he knew where it was, and when he made the catch, he made sure just to get one toe down to secure the TD. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? The offense thought they had a good look to run that play into with the QB, but there's just an example of a defender winning his one-on-one -on -one battle and making a tremendous play. Great effort by that guy. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. 
on the option. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Looking downfield, it's Daly. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. He unleashed that one. Some serious spin rate, some revolutions on that one. <laughs> Want to talk about velocity? How about the arm talent this kid has? I love watching him throw these curl routes. He's in rhythm. He takes his steps. And, man, when he decides to pull the trigger, watch out. Unloads to the wideout. He's open on the right. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, when you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. Moves away as he feels pressure. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Man, you cannot coach this to quarterbacks. Hard focus downfield, soft focus around you. As soon as he felt the lane, he was gone. No second guessing at all. That was picture perfect, and he uses his speed to just gash the defense. They'll go to the air. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment, and they've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. And the D deny them on second and goal. He's looking to throw. And he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Black Knights! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They want to see if they can score the deuce. Dropping back, it's Daly. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. Guys, it's been an entertaining first half, and not a lot of time left to put some more points on the board. No, but you got this possession right here to maybe go into the half tied up. So good first half, but a great way, Jesse, to end this first half. Yeah, you'd love to take that momentum into the second half. And listen, this offense practices two minute every single week for this exact situation. They'd love to be able to go generate a few more points before taking it into the locker room. On second down, he's looking downfield. Grabbed behind the line. It's Hughes. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I like the play call on offense. I like you trying to get the running back involved in the pass game, too. Defense was ready for that one. Let's see what you've got dialed up on third. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in West Point for an entertaining first half than you? And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, 
but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys along the banks of the Hudson inside venerable Mikey Stadium. And the Black Knights will kick it away to start the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Tulane has it back in the offense coming out to go on the attack. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. And he's brought down after a nice game. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. Right back to the well. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Fleming. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Here comes Tulane after picking up the first down. Looking for room. It's Hughes. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, he'll fire. Flushed out of the pocket. He'll try to do it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. They'll throw it on first down. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. After the misfire, now on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got in the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle. It's Fleming. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range, but now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. Looking to throw. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with a score. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling a rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. Haven't seen a lot of balls fall incomplete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. Quarterback on the keeper. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Greenway. 
offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. The last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. They'll run it. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Makes his connection. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Everybody on the same page there on blitz pickup, right? Offensive line, everybody communicating, understanding where they have to work to give their QB time to make an accurate throw and pick up the first. The Black Knights have it with a first and ten. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Free snap motion in the backfield. On the option. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. You know, you talk so much about QBs, right? And having to make really good decisions. There's a great example. He didn't see anybody open downfield. He didn't hesitate for one second. He put his head down, and he took off and went running and generated an explosive play for the offense. Looking for a man. It's Daly. It's complete. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. And the Black Knights will punt it away on fourth down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Gonna run it. It's Hughes. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Going to the running game. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game.
It's third down, and they've got to get it to the 33. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking left. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Off play action on first down. Going for it all. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. You know, as a, as a defensive back, you want to force the quarterback to make plays way outside towards the sideline. That's a, that's a long throw. It requires a lot of arm strength and a lot of touch at the same time. Great job forcing the play out wide, making the big interception. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Let's see what they've got on second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. To the air, it's Daly. He's taking the shot. He's got it on the right. Off he goes. He's at the 10. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Army! When you can run like that, the quarterback is going to give you opportunities. And look at him run by the defenders. QB sees it, stick the hand up in the air, catch the football, get to the end zone. Lining up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they put points up in electrifying fashion with an 82-yard toss for six. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. And more yards after contact. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. Man, so many guys in position, play after play, to get this guy on the ground. But Palmer, he just refuses to go down and makes big plays. And when you make plays like that, David, you're basically guaranteeing yourself more touches as this game goes on because the play caller now knows no matter what, you're going to make dudes miss and make me look good. They made the defense pay with that last big chunk of yardage. Now first and 10 from the 30. He'll do it himself. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. 
Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Starts to scramble to the left. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And after success like that on the bootleg, that's going to change the way the defense plays now. Every single time from here on out, when the quarterback hands it off, they're going to have to leave a defender, a defensive end, or a linebacker outside just in case he decides to keep it. It's a positive play offensively, but it also now changes the way this defense is going to try and play the rest of the game. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Tulane. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point splits the uprights, and the lead balloons to 15. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. He'll keep it himself. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Goes to the option. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Now on the option. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. And David, this is where I think you could have excelled. You're a great defensive end. There's other positions you could have played. Fullback, I know, being one of them. How about that guy there picking up the first? That's a nice job. Don't, don't make this hard. Don't make it overly complex. We've seen the big fellas block all the time. Give him a bone, reward him. Now he'll block harder and he'll block longer in the future. Now on second down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Black Knights will snap it on first and ten. They'll run the option. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Oh, and I love it. They give the ball to the fullback. You don't even see him in the game all the time, but when he is, it's always unselfish, pounding people. I love when you toss him a little, toss him a little love and give him the rock. You ever wish you'd played fullback instead? No. You would have been a great fullback, great H-back, 
Just hit people, hit people, hit them again, hit them again. Touchdown, Black Knights! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Here comes the two-point try. To the air, it's Daly. Throws to the back. To the end zone, and it's picked off. Oh, and that's tough, man. It was drawn up right. It was a good throw. It was right in his hands. You just want your playmaker to make that play and get to the two-point conversion. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. From the gun, Give on the inside. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Well, the drag routes put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. That's one of the only ways you would get back in this game. You had to force a turnover. You still got to score twice at least to get back in this ball game to try to win it. Great stop. Now it's the offensive's turn. I need to score and score quickly. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. On the option. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. The option look. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. That's why this guy's a good, strong safety. You've got to be able to affect the running game. You've got to be able to play in the box close to the line of scrimmage and make tackles. That time, good stop on the fullback. And the Black Knights have pushed it inside the 20. Here comes the option. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Fullbacks are a dying breed, but when you see him, it just reminds you of the big old neck roll, just huge, stout fire plugs that you don't want to hit. But on short yardage situations, occasionally, you give the big boy the ball, there is no juke button, there is no speed burst. It is all power down your throat, hitting you and falling forward and getting that first down. Scanning the field, it's Daly. Grabs it in the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. 
How about utilizing the fullback and picking up just little snippets of yardage in the passing game? Yeah, it was kind of a positive play. You know? hey, listen, it goes on the completion side of things, so the completion percentage goes up for the quarterback, and the big fella gets a touch, and we keep him happy, and now we go, all right, let's get back to blocking, bud. On second down, he'll let it fly. Caught in the backfield, it's short. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. Tulane has it back in the offense coming out to go on the attack. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. You got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep leading the clock, but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He gets a block. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. For this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. Now on second and short after the first down completion. The back goes in motion. Back to pass. It's Daly. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And here's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open, throw it out of bounds. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front, they could not protect him well enough. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down. After being stopped there on fourth down, this game's pretty much over. They were going to have to go down in a two-minute situation and put at least seven up on the board. They couldn't get it done. Things just haven't gone their way. It's been that type of day today. They're going to leave the stadium with the loss. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. 
And now when you have a solid lead like this, Jesse, you find out, can you deliver the knockout punch? And we're expecting them to come out here and just run the football, bleed the clock, let the big uglies up front, get some push, and ball security, David. That's a premium. Yes, take care of the football. Don't make any dumb mistakes. Be physical. And listen, if they want to load the box, don't be afraid to take a shot.